This video is to show you how I prep my cardboard spools to use in the AMS for the Bamboo Lab printers. The AMS does not support cardboard spools. It tends to slip and have issues when pulling back the filament. And so some people have been printing plastic rings that go around the edges of the spool. And in the past, I didn't have much success with that because I couldn't ever get the fit to fit properly and they would often break. So here I'm just using electrical tape and all you gotta do is line it up on the edge and then what I like to do is pull and stretch the electrical tape and guide it with my finger because when you stretch it, it, it the edges tend to wrap around the edge really clean so there's no, there's no folds or kinks. It's really, really, really smooth. And so yeah, just pull and stretch and then I like to go past where I started so that it glues to itself and seals really nicely and then you just cut off the rest and I'll demo the other side as well make sure to smooth your edges down as well make sure it has really good good contact and it's not going to come off but you can see how smooth it is with the electrical tape if you do that pull and stretch method and yes I'm using pink electrical tape because yeah of course I could use black electrical tape but if there's going to be a pink option available of anything I'll always go for the pink option so again I'm just going to line up my tape and use my finger to guide the tape and then pull oops <laughs> pull and stretch the tape and you can see how it how it by stretching it it just molds and wraps around the edge of the spool And then again, I'm just gonna go a little bit past where I started and then just cut the, cut the electrical tape off. And make sure to also pull and stretch this ending as well. And then just smooth, smooth it all down. And now the spool is ready to be used in the AMS unit. And it won't have any slipping. I haven't had any issues with this method and my spool is always ready to go. I don't need to fuss around with rings or 3D print rings. Here I'm pulling out the old spool that I had with rings and yeah, it didn't fit quite right. Um, I find that it would slip. I had to put tape on the cardboard spool to make the, the fit tighter for the ring. And I just hate it. They always break. I have to print them when I need more where I could just use electrical tape. And so I'm just gonna load up this roll of filament so you can see how well it's it's spinning around forwards and backwards. And that's all. I hope that that was helpful for you. If you use this method as well, I hope it works out for you. Um, if it doesn't work out for you, that's fine too. Everyone's got their own ways of doing it and that's all.